Stop. Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, it's Godan. I had this question by Paul Blue. You didn't show what relics were used. Curious how they got the Panthers to 100% Horde Resist. Well, let me show you. And we want to thank Mercenario for sharing with us how he defeated Osiris and Bast with his Ladega. And these are the relics that were used. Bitter Dirks, Poison Bow, Mount Armor, Stormbringer, the Banner of Poison, and Adoria. All four stars are maxed. The skill set for Ladega, X Health, and Void Resist. So we know that Osiris has been a beast on offense. And he's also a beast on defense in some cases. But what can we do? Who can possibly be a better defender? Let me show you that as well. Well, lo and behold, I talked about this in the past video. Infiltrators, especially ones that summon, like Minotaur, are great on offense and great on defense. In the past, before summoners, infiltrators like Ilzar were good for defense as well because she buffed troops. Now Bass is a horde buffer. And now we're seeing her on defense as well. It's not a lot of armor, but it's 100% resistance across the board. Now this is one option. The other option is to buff your Titan herself or a combination thereof. Now the relics shown can always be changed. Now I've said this before and I'll say it again. You have to personally find out what works best for you. I have not been successful defending with Bast. The relics that I need, I'm working on. But I also think it's my troop level. I'm only getting hit by max level players. I'm waiting for a regular or for a same level player to hit me to see if I can defend. I'm hoping I can. Now Mercenario has been getting greens left and right. And there's another player on my lines has been getting greens left and right. Bass can be beat, but it's definitely hard. But let's see a few battles of how Bass defends. Well now what I've done was looked at what Bass defended on Mercenario's uh, battle log. So I'm trying to hit Bass with the same Titans. This is my setup. It's not Void Resist, but it's a brand new Edelus 2.0. I'm trying to go in, trying to cause max damage as fast as possible. Again, not Void Resist, but with the hopes of winning. Some would say this isn't fair because there is no Void Resist, but this is the first battle. So let's see what we can do. Now I'm thinking we need to freeze Bast. Why? Makes sense. Stop her in her tracks. Once she's down, the horde should be easy, right? Well, let's see. What's the horde got? Sixty percent ice resist. On Bast. How about the Horde? Hundred percent resist across the board. Now I don't have those relics on my own personal account. So I'm not gonna do as well. But once I have my relics maxed, I hope to do just as well. Bass has been frozen twice. The Horde are just obliterating my Imperials. They didn't stand a chance with zero Void Resist. The Horde may be squishy, but they're strong. It's over. So here we go. Add a list one more time. We're going to switch it up. That didn't go so well. 
So let's see. We're just going to attack differently. We're going to try to kite everything in. Still with zero void resist. But more of a strategical plan. All right, that looks good, right? One shot. Shield and rage up the uh, Imperials, right? Looking good. Bass is about to go down. But it's impossible. Got to have the void resist. Bass went down. But as good as Edelus is, the Horde just aren't taking enough damage. So it's safe to say that both of those attacks were horrendous. So we're going to switch up Titans. We're going to try our new Apex Ranger. I know he's only level 30. But let's see what he can bring in. The Horde with Reaver are deadly. Now this is also just the first trial run on hitting Bast. I'm sure you've come across a few Bast yourself and possibly left some greens, right? If you have, comment below. Let me know. But we're going to revisit Bast and see if she is as good as she's portrayed. I think it's a good possibility. Now the Void Resist isn't there. Only 16%. Void versus Void. Now mind you, the Horde with Bass is 100% resist everything. So, so far, so well. Looks better. But Bass is not taking any damage from the Horde. We've got to figure out a better Titan. She's got to go down. But how can we do it? Maybe a champion? A Void Resist champion? I don't know. But it's over. Ugly. So this is what we're going to go against. 21,000 damage. 338 armor piercing. 78 critical chance. And the resist. And the level 20 horde. 20,000 damage. 30,000 health. 211 armor piercing. 78 critical chance. And the resist. 50% void, 74% physical and earth. Not bad, but not great. So you saw what we're going against. We're going to go Bast on Bast. Yes, the battle we've all been waiting for. Bast on Bast. Now we know Bast is an awesome attacker. But how is she on defense? Two hundred sixty five thousand health, fifty six thousand damage. Quite a setup. Armor piercing is only eighty eight, critical chance is fifty eight. The other resists. What we might do, I have Trickster's Blade on her. Let's go back to the Night Whisper. Damage is cut by 20,000. But the armor piercing goes up to 338. We're going to go with the Trickster's Blade. We're going to take the damage. See how this rolls.
Now we already know what the resists are. So let's see if she can take it. Bass versus bass. There she is. Wow, that's crazy. This damage that she's dishing out is awesome. Oh. She took the other one out. One blow. That looked too easy. Okay, we're going to try that again. We have the defensive set up with the horde. And this is what they got. 17,000 damage, 50,000 health, 211 arm piercing, 78 critical chance, and 100% resist across the board. So in this battle, it's the horde that we're counting on. Okay. So we're set. Now we're gonna switch this bass up. This was the defensive build. We're gonna switch it up to attack bast. Bass first bast. Now we wanna get the void resist going, but we wanna increase her armor as much as we can. We're going to go back to that standard attacking setup. Dragon Helm. We'll take the Curse Vile. We'll take the Golden Scales. Once we find them, Golden Axe first. And lastly, Bone Mirror Belt. Now we're set. There we go. And only 46% resist across the board, and we're in. Let's see if Bass can survive the assault of the 100% offensive Bast. The horde's gonna do what it's gonna do. Here she comes. Well, she went down. As long as Bass stands, we got a chance. I'm impressed. Bass is having a hard time against herself. Whoa. That was no good. <laughs> that was too close. Well, that was totally unexpected. And so was this. What a sad day for DOT. Sad day for the community.
Gordon says, Devs, can one of you take over the SPP program during the rehiring interim? Or oh, with Chris gone now? Chris. Um, I would, I would... I've run out of time, guys. Matadors. Yeah, we need an offensive guard mate. Uh, well, I'll, I'll talk about that. Sorry, I, 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 you know, apart from sometimes talking to people um, and calls and that, I'm not really part of that whole team and a whole lot of work. That's but structure. I'll talk about it, that structure, yeah. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, the Matadors win. Uh, 12.